Hello, beautiful people of the internet. How are you doing today? My name is Jackie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to be doing the historical fiction reader tag. This is a tag all about historical fiction and your historical fiction reading preferences. I saw this video on Tori's channel, Hufflepuff Discovery, so I will link her video down below as well as the original creator of this tag. The first question in this tag is what is your favorite time period to read about? For me, I would say broadly, it would be medieval times through the Renaissance, particularly the 1400s through the early 1600s I like because I love the Tudor dynasty. I love reading about the House of Tudor and learning more about it. That's particularly something that I've always really enjoyed ever since I was younger and I started reading books about the Tudors. I'm also interested in the Plantagenet dynasty and the War of the Roses I also really enjoy. English history is personally my favorite but I do like to branch out a little bit and I would be interested in the future in reading more about certain eras or countries or civilizations that I don't know a lot about just to expand my mind and try out some different historical periods. The next question is what book made you fall in love with historical fiction? And for me it's not one specific book but a series of books. When I was in elementary school I absolutely loved the Royal Diaries series. This was a series written by various authors where they would construct fictionalized diaries from princesses and other royals throughout history. I loved these. I read so many of them. I don't think I can even name all the ones that I read. I read one about Eleanor of Aquitaine, Elizabeth I, Mary Queen of Scots so many different ones. This series had so many books in it. I didn't read all of them. I read the ones that took place from medieval times through the 1700s. I know I read the one about Marie Antoinette, but I think the ones about later figures like Queen Victoria and Anastasia Romanoff I didn't read because I wasn't as interested in those time periods back then. But I devoured a whole bunch of those books, really loved them, would go to the library constantly to check out another one. I might have even read some of them multiple times. That's really what inspired my love of historical fiction. And to this day, I'm still impartial to learning about royalty. That really interests me. The next question is, if you could write yourself into any historical fiction novel or visit any time period, what would it be and why? My answer is it depends. If I was just going back in time for let's say a day, I think I would like to go back to maybe the Tudor court or something like that. However, if this question is saying I have to pick somewhere to go and I have to stay there forever, I, I would not want to have to live the rest of my life in those time periods. However, if I had to pick a time period or historical fiction work to stay in forever, that would change my answer. First of all, if that were the case, I would definitely want to go into a fictional work because I think I would be a little better off that way. Typically when you're reading historical fiction, they skip over some of the less pleasing historical realities. I don't think I phrased that right, but you know, for instance, if you're reading a historical fiction or watching a historical fiction show, you know, everybody has really nice teeth and great dental hygiene. And the main character is probably not going to, you know, die in childbirth or of tuberculosis or some other preventable illness. So if I was the main character, I think I would be a little better off than an actual historical person. So we've established that if I have to stay there forever, I would want to be in a fictional work. And I think I would want to be something a in something a little closer to the present day because then I would have a few more amenities <laughs> compared to somebody in a medieval setting, for instance. 
I think if I had to choose, I would want to be the heroine in a, a historical mystery. Just me in my gown, solving crimes with my really handsome lover. And <laughs> so my life would have it all, you know? I'm living in Regency or Victorian times, maybe. I have my, you know, really handsome guy and we're going on adventures together and solving crimes. I would probably have to work out more because if I need to run while wearing all those petticoats, I'm not in the shape for that right now. But, and hey, at the end of the day, the two of us, we might get in some dangerous situations, but we would be the main characters, therefore we would always survive, and we would always catch the bad guy, because that's how it works in those stories. I think, you know, maybe I could solve crimes. I've read a lot of mysteries and I'm good at predicting what's going to happen, so if I was the strong-willed heroine in a historical mystery, I think I could do it. <laughs> Just have to practice running in the petticoats. The next question is, have you read a historical fiction novel that was so gripping it sent you on a research deep dive? And my answer is going to be very similar to what Tori said for this one, which is that usually it's watching a historical TV show that sends me on the deep dive. Usually my first exposure to a certain era is through a TV show, and watching the TV show makes me want to do a lot of research so that I can find out what actually happened, because sometimes historical fiction TV takes some liberties with actual historical events for the sake of drama and intrigue. For instance, watching The White Queen is what made me love The War of the Roses, and this is the show that made me so interested in Richard III. So I started researching The War of the Roses, and I read The Sun and Splendor because I liked Richard III and Anne Neville so much on that show. This past year, I watched Medici Masters of Florence, did a deep dive on the Medici family and Renaissance Florence. I watched all seasons of Victoria, and therefore I read a lot about Queen Victoria and did a lot of Googling about the Victorian era. Usually, I watch a show, that show introduces me to a historical figure or a historical period or a historical family, and then I do a lot of research. However, if I go way, way back, there were certain books I read when I was much younger that got me into the Tudors in the first place. And those were Carolyn Meyer's books. I read all of her novels, I believe. So she had four Tudor novels, which were Mary, Bloody Mary, The Way Our Princess Elizabeth, Doomed Queen Anne, and something about Catherine of Aragon. I don't remember what it was titled. And reading those books was my first exposure to the Tudors. So my love for this historical family stems from reading these books in elementary or middle school. She also had books on Catherine de Medici, Marie Antoinette, Mary Queen of Scots, and I think she might have also written one on Cleopatra, or maybe that was somebody else. I read all of those, but the Tudor ones were my favorite, and I think these books are the reason why I still love the Tudors to this day. The next question is, do you have a favorite or auto-buy historical fiction author? And if we're including fiction inspired by mythology as historical fiction, 100% Madeline Miller. Any book that she comes out with, I will read. Circe is one of my favorites. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I would really like to read it again. And though I did not love The Song of Achilles like other people did, just because Achilles got on my nerves by the end of it, I still thought 75% of the book was fantastic. I think Madeline Miller is an amazing writer, and I will definitely check out anything she comes up with. Also, Taylor Jenkins Reid. Now, her books take place in the 20th century, so not the period that I usually read about when it comes to historical fiction. However, every book of hers that I've read, I really, really enjoyed. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo is one of my all-time favorites. Truly exceptional. Another book that I want to reread someday. And her other two books were still really enjoyable as well. So anytime she comes out with a new historical fiction book, 
100% I'm reading it. <laughs> Question six is what is your favorite historical fiction movie or television show for this? I have to say Downton Abbey. If someone were to ask me what's your favorite television show, I would say Downton Abbey. I'm not very good at picking favorites. It's really hard for me to decide just because I like so many things and there's so many stories that I get emotionally invested in. However, the reason I would say this is my not only favorite historical television show, but my all-time favorite show is because I love almost every single character. Even characters that I didn't like in the first season I now love. While there were certain storylines on this show that weren't my favorite, it never got to a point where I didn't enjoy watching it. A lot of times when I like a TV show, I feel like either it gets canceled too soon and I'm really disappointed, or it goes on for so long that none of the characters are acting like themselves, the storylines are bad, and I just don't enjoy watching it anymore. Downton Abbey had neither of those problems. I didn't love every storyline, like I said, but it never became a chore to watch. And I'm excited that there is another Downton Abbey movie coming out in a few months. I'm very excited to go see it. As long as they keep making movies, I'll keep watching them. I think the thing about this show is I love the characters so much that it doesn't really matter what I'm watching them doing. You know how when you have a friend or family member that you really love. So when you're spending time with them, it doesn't matter what you're doing because just by being together, you're having fun. That's how I can best describe how I feel about these characters. I don't care what they're up to in the next movie. As long as I get to see them, quote unquote, that's good with me because I really love them all. And finally, the last question. Historical fiction is often overlooked or underhyped in the booktube world. What book would you recommend that would hook any reader on the genre? I can't really give this a straight answer because in my opinion, there's no book in the entire world that's going to be universally loved. So what I would recommend to you depends on your personal interests. For example, if you read a lot of literary fiction, maybe I would recommend something like Hamnet. Maybe you really like mysteries. So then I would recommend a historical mystery like the Veronica Speedwell series. If there's a certain era that you really enjoy, then I think you should try to find a book about that time period that you're interested in learning about. If you really like books with romantic plots, I would probably recommend something like Outlander that's very heavy on the romance. It really just depends on your personal interests because there are books that I like, but I can recognize that they're not going to be everybody's taste. So I think when you're deciding what historical fiction you should read, you should think about what elements you like in books and what places or time periods are particularly interesting to you. So that is the historical fiction reader tag. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'm not going to specifically tag anyone because I don't know who has done this tag and who hasn't. But if you're watching this video and you would like to do it yourself, consider yourself tagged. If you do decide to film this video, please let me know in the comment section and link your video once you post it. I would love to see your answers. Even if I'm not subscribed to you, still feel free to do this tag and say I tagged you. Let me know if you decide to do it and I will watch your video, maybe even subscribe to your channel. So if you want to do this, don't be afraid to say I tagged you. Go ahead. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. I post new videos every single Wednesday. My social media links are down below if you want to follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, or be my friend on Goodreads. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an outstanding rest of your day. Bye, and I'll see you next time.